Hey guys, what is up? It is Hokey, and I'm back with another tutorial. Like from the last video, I promised I was going to show you how to make an automated coal generator. So, today I like to make the coal generator from RF Tools, I think it is. RF Tools, yep. So it's pretty simple, it's a very easy early game generator to make. It doesn't actually require a lot of resources, I think the hardest one is getting the redstone, but it's pretty easy to see out redstone early game. So once we have our coal generator, of course we're going to make our roost like we always have to, and I'm always going to mess that up every single time we do it, uh, because the roost is going to come into play too. Once we make our roost, we have to do something that we have not made on this yet, which is a transfer cable. The transfer cables are very important, and you'll find out why in a second. You get 64 of them for very limited resources, which is very nice. So. Once we do the transfer cable, then we're going to make the transfer node, which is also very important. These are both out of extra utilities too. So if you're using a mod pack that has that, this is the simplest way to do it. Now, for a very easy setup, we also have to take our 10, 10, 10 chicken, which we will see why in a second why we need the 10, 10, 10 chicken. So first off, we lay down our roost and then we insert our cold chicken. He's going to start producing coal. Remember from the last video, the 10, 10, 10 cold chicken was very important because, as you know, he is going to produce coal at a much faster rate than a regular cold chicken would. So if you get multiple 10, 10, 10 cold chickens, which, remember, how you do that is you put a 10, 10, 10 cold chicken here, 10, 10, 10 cold chicken here, and they will produce 10, 10, 10 cold chickens at a very fast rate. Eight of them is what I've found is all you need in order to keep a consistent generator flow. You take the transfer node, you have to shift click it, and then you put one transfer pipe. I like to do one transfer pipe on that, and then you put in the coal generator. The coal generator is not going to start right away because we are waiting for this to get done. While we are doing that, I'm going to show you how good this looks. Because if you build this into a wall, it actually looks very slick. And you can see. And then you have this beautiful generator that doesn't really look like it is out of place. It's actually very nice and it's very consistent. There you go. So you transferred in some coal. I'm going to show you upstairs real quick what you can do with this setup. As you can see, I have built my generator into the wall, like I said, and I have the exact same setup. I actually have eight chickens. See, it stays at 64 coal once you have eight chickens in there, and it keeps consistent power. I have connected all these devices to it, and they stay pretty well full. You couldn't use them all at once, but it would be able to. The thing I could do is kind of like make this look prettier by adding, like making this room a little bit smaller and making it look a little prettier. Now you just have this beautiful flow of things that are just kind of there. So just to recap what you need for this beautiful build in case you're wondering, it's very simple, like I said, is you need the roost with a 10, 10, 10 cold chicken. You need a transfer node from extra utilities too. You need the transfer pipe from extra utilities too. And then you need the coal generator from RF tools. These are the easiest way to get that. I'm not gonna have enough of this, but still it looks pretty. So if you're interested in doing this build, I recommend giving it a try, especially on any of the Feed the Beast mods that have a lot of mods in it. Most of them have these, so you'll be able to do it. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I will answer them. Hopefully you have a good day. Goodbye.